What is up, guys? Um, so I just want to come on here and update you guys a bit about what's going on, what's going to be going on with this channel. Um, so to go ahead and tackle, I guess, the elephant in the room question of it all, am I actually going to sell this van? And the title was not a lie. I'm actually going to sell this van. This is my last day in the Astro van. I will be selling this van. Um, I'm cleaning up today. I need to still go get the car washed and all that stuff. But I just wanted to take a break to um, talk to you guys about what's going on. Um, so this van has been the absolute best vehicle I've ever owned in my entire life. When I first bought it, I was in Los Angeles. If you guys don't remember, if you're new or if you're new to this channel, I used to live in L.A., and um, I was in a long-term relationship and uh, I was just like not really sure where my life was going career-wise. I was doing music. I was working in the music industry, recording studios and all that stuff. And I just realized that I was falling out of love with the music industry and like music in general because of how like I was learning about I was just learning things I didn't realize about the music industry especially in LA and that was just like becoming extremely disheartening and I was just losing so much creative input I was losing like just the drive to really strive for my music and therefore to work in the music industry and I've been a musician all my entire life when I was a kid I used to get um empty Kleenex boxes and put uh, rubber bands in them and use the uh, paper towel roll and make my own guitar when I was like six, seven years old. So music has always been a thing I've wanted to pursue. So you can imagine how realizing that you don't want to do it anymore can like make you go through a complete identity crisis. So I'm not going to get into that too much. I have a whole episode about where I talk about that stuff a little more. But suffice it to say, I was pretty lost 
and my relationship was coming to an end as well. So I'm in LA wondering what I'm going to do next. And I find on YouTube, uh, van life. I start with, uh, I believe I started with a list of vanilla, uh, the fine print, uh, Ryan Toomey, life with Anthony, Abia Beignet, like so many great van lifers that I saw living these free lives, like unbothered by the struggles and the worries of like modern society. So obviously like the escapism in me clinged to that. And I was like, okay, I'm going to leave LA and start living in a van with my cat Lars, who we had just gotten. But the next question was, what van do I choose? And after looking through hundreds of YouTube videos, trying to find out what would be the best van for me, my first thought was, I need to get something that's big. I need to get something that I can stand up in, blah, blah. blah. And um, I was looking around, going to test uh, vans out and all that. And I remember seeing Astro vans and just off the bat shooing them away. I was like, those are way too small. I would never live in a vehicle that's that small. Um, until I saw one in person. And when I saw my first Astro van in person, I remember I was in Santa Monica, California, and I saw this work van that was an Astro. And I, I realized that that van looked just kind of perfect. At least at the moment, I was like, Astros actually look perfect. So from that point, I became obsessed with looking at Astro vans. I was watching videos of people who had Astro vans. Um, and I decided that that's the van I wanted to get. So one day I was on Facebook Marketplace and I found a beautiful blue Astro van um, <laughs> for $1,500 and $200. 30,000 miles on it. Um, but at the time, I didn't have much money. So I kind of was in, I'm not gonna say dire straits, but I needed to make a choice because the lease on my rent was coming up. Um, my partner had already left. So I was pretty much in the apartment, packing up, getting ready to go. So I needed to pick something. Um, and this all kind of happened really fast. So I drive down to Glendale, test the van out, absolutely fall in love with it i pay for it in cash right then and there and um yeah <laughs> a couple weeks pass um and i load the van up with a carpet makeshift everything there's like no real van build to it but i throw lars in there and we hit the road to head to georgia which is where my family lives on the way we camped in a car and a vehicle for our first time ever and i remember our first night camping <laughs> in a vehicle um it was in flagstaff arizona and um we were near the i think uh the coco nino forest and it was both of our first nights camping outside i was so scared and lars was also so scared we were both jumping around Lars's eyes were like huge. He was like looking out the window all night and I like struggled to get to sleep. So our first night in van life was definitely a struggle, but it got easier from that night moving forward. Every night got a little bit easier until it became just routine for us to pull off the side of the road or down some dark, you know, forest street and just like chill, make a meal and then go to sleep. Um, <laughs> this van has been my shelter through all of that over a year's worth of travel and over 300 straight days of staying in this van. This van has been my friend. This van has been my house and it's been my home most importantly. So coming to the decision to part ways with it has been A struggle it's been something that has been super hard for me to accept that i'm gonna be not living in this van anymore because even though this van is so small and it 
it's literally like one of the smaller vans you could get for van life. It's opened up such a huge world for me. I've met so many friends. <laughs> the only reason why I I ever like reached out to Alyssa Vanilla in the first place was because we both had Astro vans, and I just wanted to meet someone else who was driving in, in Astro, and um, that got me to meet my first like Astro van YouTuber and started a whole journey of me meeting new people, making new friends on the road, new adventures. We've been to the south we've been to uh the pacific northwest which is gorgeous we've been to the grand canyon we've gone just about everywhere there is to go and i am super grateful that this old <laughs> tiny van allowed me to see the world how i saw it last year and yeah we had minor issues little small bumps in the road but this van got me through it all and i am super thankful for that <sighs> so i guess the next question is why am i going to be selling this van and the answer to that question is because after a year of traveling on the road and doing things that i love i did realize that this space is a lot more cramped than I realized it to be at the beginning, but of course that's how anything goes. When you start something new, you know, it can seem really perfect and it can be perfect, but as time goes on, things change, you know, I started to want to do more than just, uh, you know, leave the van to go hike and stuff. I wanted to spend more time in the van. I wanted to uh, cook more in the van. And a thing that I thought I was done with, um, I actually want to start making music again. Being free on the road, I mean, it's not hard to imagine that having such space and so much free time, that creative energy I thought was gone forever started slowly coming back into my life. So I started wanting to just pick up the guitar and like, like start recording music. But in this small space, everything was so hard to get to. And that's the rule about van life is when you're doing your build or when you're choosing your vehicle, think about the space you'll need because when things become too complicated to do, fact is you're probably not going to do it. So I was, I can't, I, mean, I played music. You guys have heard new music for the past year, but I wanted to make so much more and actually record studio like projects for you guys. But it just became so tedious to try to, do that in this little cramped space that I did have. So I just did a little, little, like a little bit less than I really wish I would have. So, um, I guess to answer that question, um, I, I've, I guess outgrown this, this space like a hermit crab. Um, <laughs> I've made Thanksgiving meals. I've made Christmas meals, like full feasts. I've done more in this small van than a lot of people do in a house you know, a million times the size. And I'm very proud of that. But I do think it can be easier to do all this stuff. And I do want it to be easier moving forward. Um, so yeah, I guess I've outgrown the size of this van. And yeah, that's going to be the main reason why I'm going to be selling this van. Um, and I guess the third and final question that People will probably be wondering. I'm sure you'll have more questions, um, which will all be answered in time. But the final question, I'm sure, um, is, am I going to be quitting van life? Am I going to be taking a long break from van life? Am I going to be getting right back to it? What am I going to be doing? And the answer to that question genuinely right now is I am not very sure. Um, I still still don't know what the next step is going to be yet and that's my honest <laughs> that's my honest answer i'm hoping because i love this life and i don't want to leave this life and i don't think i ever will um so even if we're doing something that's a little bit different i don't think i'll ever leave the nomadic life um but i don't have a next vehicle lined up right now um 
I am working on it. I'm working on what the next steps will be. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but at this very moment, I don't have like the next step right there. So um, this is my last day in the Astro Van. Obviously, in a perfect world, in a in a world where I get what I want, I could be <laughs> doing this. I could be back to doing this like that. But that's not always how it works. So I would just stay hopeful and I will keep you guys updated. And I'm not going to be gone for long, no matter what. So expect to see an update from me pretty soon. But um, yeah, it's about brunch time <laughs> right now. Um, I still have some more cleaning to do. I need to take the car to get washed and all that, but I think we're gonna make one last meal in the van. I think that'd be a really good way to send it off. So let's do that real quick. <laughs> Expanding, no conquering flight. No foreign appendages. This is the legend that they get to write. See what you say. Sight. Reaching new heights. Moonwalking like Mike. We be like Titans whenever we touch. Heavens departed and folk ran them up. Running to Shakespeare, I ran out of luck. Love and requited them, looking for Puck. Love is organic, it don't have to rhyme. My heart is a planet and yours is the same. Maybe we'll orbit each other in time. I don't know. Break me like tectonic lines. Set a drift and make me all brand new ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Train me like your sacrament Blood to stain your lips red, hallelujah Yeah, I Last meal is done. <laughs> last meal in the way of like a celebration meal, not like a last meal. Because this isn't like something to mourn, this is something to celebrate. Our journey on this huge van life adventure that I never even saw myself doing three years ago. <laughs> and now I'm able to do professionally. So this isn't something that we're mourning. I'm not sad about this. I'm hopeful and I'm happy. And I made this beautiful, like caprese turkey style sandwich with pesto. It smells incredible. And I'm gonna give this a try. This is the last meal that I'm making in this Astro Van. So thank you to everyone who's been watching this journey unfold. And I hope you stay for what the next chapter holds. That rhymed. <laughs> but uh, cheers, guys.
Hot dang. <laughs> wow. I also got a miniature Coca-Cola. <laughs> I don't have a bottle opener, but you already know the Bucky's lighter is gonna come to save the day. Cheers to everyone who's joined me on this journey and cheers for everyone who's gonna continue to join me and cheers to the people who have yet to find my channel, but soon will and will join me and Lars on this epic journey. We're not leaving for long, I promise you that. And I will update you guys as soon as I know what the next step is. But uh, don't expect to be waiting long because things have a way of working themselves out as I've learned this past year. And I don't think we're going to be out for long at all. So cheers, guys. And I will be seeing you soon.